ยันนี้ตะกรินะท่องเนี่ยงากุเนี่ยอกัสลีตุงยันนี่กุญญานี่ไปชิงกาซะ <coughs> Today, on the 3rd of August, 2005, this retreat at the Forest Refuge will begin, will commence our retreat at the Forest Refuge. And so on this first day, having taken the eight precepts along with the three refuges, then uh, you will have the opportunity, now you will have the opportunity to listen to a uh, brief exposition of the method of practice. ดาริอไดบอดิเจสุชิมาซิเซอร์ออฟยาจียินจาระมูเรนีลันอไดบอดปุญญาเลนดาเซลเลปิโรนิจามาผิดบาเรดีเตียนีลันโกรดีกายิ
of these instructions in accord with the late Venerable Mahasi Seara's teachings. ไอ้ดอกดิโยกิสัตย์เนี่ยพี่ดอกอัตถุเตยโยกิเตมยะอัตเวโหจาเรตะยะเป็นผิดตอเลเบตูอัตถุปิโยกิมยะอันนี้เ
So even though the Buddha was giving a talk intended for Diganaka, this basic exposition, the Venerable Sariputta, a stream enterer at that time, listening to the talk, his insights, be, uh, his things became even more clarified and he was able to develop insight all the way to our hardship. So even for people who have uh, practiced within this method before, listening to this basic exposition can have benefits. ไอ้ดอกโกยอกิมยาอัตถุนิจจาเรตะยาตมาริอนิเนเปียวเมสุยเนาะดิยิตตาริมากะรอดิเสยาตมาริหาตรมยะมยาลาภิรอตะยาป
So understanding that there are a number of different methods, it's important to practice in accord with the method that is being instructed by the teacher present. So when a teacher who teaches straight tranquility practice, the cultivation of tranquility, samatha bhavana, uh, is here teaching, then it's important to practice Uh, precisely in accord with this teacher's instructions. And likewise, if a teacher comes who teaches Vipassana based on tranquility practice, it's important to practice uh, in accord with the way this teacher is instructing. And also, uh, when a teacher who teaches Vipassana Bhavana, the cultivation of insight, without and any mixing with Samatha practice. When such a teacher is teaching, giving instructions, then it's important for all of us likewise to be practicing in accord with these instructions. <clears throat> so just understanding that there are many different ways of practice and that you can get the most benefit by really following the method that's being instructed uh, by the teacher who's present so that you can get the most benefit out of that teacher's presence. It's important to follow precisely the particular instructions and method that are being taught by the teacher. ကွဲပြားတာကလွယ်လို့ဖျားရှင်ဟောတော်မူလေတရားနီလန်းနဲ့ဆွေရင်အာလုံးတညီတဲ့ဖြစ်ပါတယ်ဒီမြတ်စွ
ไอ้รออริติยานิลันติเตกะยะคุมีโรอัถโยเมติยานิลันกะรอชิซุชินมาซิสยาโรพยายีญุนจาทาระมุเรติยานิลันผิดปะเรติยาโรพยายีฮอ
the Vipassana Bhavana Atho De Ekama, the Samadhi Pshiyong, Pere Lomle, the Samadha Bhavana Amato Tarane, Samadhi Pere Lomle, Chen Nai Mele, Dari Chua Adi Lu, Minyan Nali Di Shibare, Taku Era Gu Pi Ong Lu, the Samadha Bhavana Ga Upachara Samadhi Gu, Chik Khan Biro Atho Yabare, the Vipassana Bhavana Ga Kanika Samadhi Pshiyong, Da Atho Yabare, อะไรกว่าชาวมุสลิมเลยสุดท้ายดาลีนาลีอุลูบาร์เลยไอ้เราสมัครท่าบาวนาไปพิพิบัสนาบาวนาไปพิพิสมารีไม่พิเคลือช
so habitual in the mind that um, it becomes uh, so habitual in the mind that no matter where we chi, if we look uh, where we look, if we look at the at the sky, it's earth. If we look at the water, it's earth. Um, so, to put it briefly, as one develops this, uh, the mind take, taking focusing on this concept more and more strongly. Uh, when we reach this level of wherever, uh, wherever we look, there's uh, earth. Then, at this level, the the mind is absorbed into this concept of earth. So this is absorption, concentration. With the practice of vipassana, it's not like that. Instead of looking, developing this uh, superficial object, of, of developing the superficial concept of earth as an object, we look for the nature of the earth element inside our own bodies, inside our, inside our own direct experience. So uh, we look for the nature of heaviness, the sensation of heaviness in our own bodies. Wherever we notice this sensation of heaviness uh, in, our, uh, in our field of experience, of physical experience, this is a manifestation of the patavidatu of the earth element. Likewise, we look inside for the sensation of softness. When we find sensations of softness in the body, we are watching this uh, manifestation of this earth element inwardly. So the difference between uh, the objects of samatha and the ob- objects of vipassana are that with uh, tranquility practice, we focus on the superficial concept, for instance, the superficial concept of earth. Whereas with vipassana, we focus inwardly on the inward nature uh, of a particular element, for instance, this patavitatu, this earth element. And so focusing inwardly on our inner experience, it's because of this sort of concentration, this sort of focus, that this meditation practice gains the name insight meditation. So it's important to understand clearly the difference between these two types of practice. ဆိုကဲလို့ရှိရင်မြို့စတင်ပြီးတော့ရှုမမယောဂီညာအနေနဲ့ကတော့မြတ်စွာဘုရားကကိုအနေရထားကစပြီးတော့စနစ္စကြ
So where it says to sit cross-legged, there is the regular method of sitting cross-legged, or also to sit uh, on one's knees with the legs going back is also acceptable. However one uh, decides to sit, it's important not to have the legs uh, ending up on top of the feet, uh, the legs uh, ending up on top of each other. ตาจอกอดิลุมะผิดออกตาเดมนิคุยได้อะค่ะตัวโมเทวะเดมนิคุยได้ So when you sit um, if the legs, if one leg is on top of another, is uh, ending up on top of another, then this stops the circulation from functioning uh, correctly. This stops the blood from circulating correctly. So before long, this leg will get numb and tingly and uh, cause be, be painful and cause problems for your meditation practice. So... It's important to uh, allow the circulation to function properly by, uh, however you sit, having, uh, not having the legs end up one on top of the other uh, so that the one underneath uh, doesn't have its circulation cut off. So that's true whether one sits in regular cross-legged position or with uh, legs behind. นอกดุติยะขากูพร้อมๆทายอเมซุเรเนียมาเลยดีขากันนี่ปิ๊ดก้องอธิบอกพร้อมๆมาทาบอกด้วยบาเลยก้องเลยสอขากันนี่ปิ
Pelewago Pelezan Chava, Peri Pelezan Chata, Pelewago and Yalawa Pelezan Tima, No Lamati Nakuti on Putava, A Lutalu Shi, the Madi Pilwede, the Nita Pipare, the Lutama Pipa. They like out. They So there is, once one has established one's body in this posture, there is a particular hand uh, state of putting the hands which is particularly um, conducive to developing concentration. Do mudra namiya samadhi mudra. Jana mudra. So because of its ability, its con- uh, conducive nature towards absorption and concentration, it's called the jhana mudra. So with this, if one has one's legs crossed, one puts then the on the on the upper leg, one puts the left hand with palm facing up, and then the right hand with palm facing up on top of that, and then has one's uh, thumbs touching. So this is the jhana mudra, conducive for developing concentration. Now, Miro ye sik tamenia. That's what we are. Come and turn, are you the kuguzima tava lo di lube in Javale? Come and turn, are you the kuguzima sikku susai tava? Kona, so look up your day. The Yasavia horomure, Madrivana toma. The Kayanubasana strip chan, and in it, Hore Ekama, Edima, Tayamekonta, are you salitana? ညွှန်ချထားပါလေအဲ့ဒီဆလေးဌာနတွေကမီတို့ကြိုက်နေတဲ့ရဌာနတခုကိုမှာစိတ်ကိုထားလို့ရပါလေအဲ့ဒါ
ဒါဒီအရုံးကြီးဖြစ်ပါတယ်ဒါအဲ့ချက်ကနေပြီးတော့ခေါ်နာဥပါစနာဘာဝနာတန္နအသိညံလူဖြစ်အောင်ဆိ
uh, come up, then one notes rising. And as the falling process happens, one notes falling. So in this way, one uh, focuses the mind, placing the mind, the attention on rising and then falling, rising, falling. Hello, Pauna Pena, Mapuya. ยังจานทาตอเลเวตะชุยอกิมยาพ้องเปิ่มมาลุมะยาเลยอกิมยาเลยชีกองชีบาลิเมมาတော့พ้องเปิ่มมุสาชีบาเลชีตอเลเวที
ဆိုတော့ဒီကိုဒီကိုဆိုတော့ဒီကိုဆိုတော့ဒီကိုဆိုတော့ဒီကိုဆိုတော့ဒီကိုဆိုတော့ဒီကိုဆိုတော့
So one just notices the tightness and tension or heaviness and hardness or whatever uh, is arising just as it is, just as one is aware of it. So just uh, practicing to be aware of its nature just as it is. Hello, now I came to the house of the people who are living in the house. I'm going to go to the house of the people who are living in the house. I'm going to go to the house of the people who are living in the house. I'm going to go to the house of the people who are living in the house. I'm going to go to the house of the people who are living in the house. I'm going to go to the house of the people who are living in the house. Ralikuro tu yogi mnya atu tri chapu dua pare. Nara jina kai da kai da piyok chen ne sey ne lomwa maya wa u. Pi jen ne sey ne maya ma wa. Na jay kai kai da kha ma ati nyan di pisi ya. Dwo di ari amnya jishi pare. Ay dwo di ari u amanda indi lu shi indi yogi mnya. Na jay kai kai da uirana gu. Kai ka du ka uirana gu shumwa yenga ni piro ati nyan du di jana ima re. Da jau piyok chen ne sey ne. Mamma pe ne ti jen ne sey ne. When unpleasant physical sensations arise, it's important for the yogis to note them, to watch them patiently uh, with acceptance. When these sensations um, arise and the yogi uh, continues noting them, being mindful of them, sometimes they will uh, slowly disappear and, and and no longer be present. At such times, the yogi should bring the attention back to the anchor of rising and falling at the abdomen. However, the practice of um, being aware of these sensations is not in order to get rid of them. Rather, the intention is to come to know the nature of these unpleasant sensations, to come to know the nature of the pain and aching and so on. So it's very important, this is something that yogis really need to be mindful of, to be careful about, not to, um, not to meditate with, on these sensations with the uh, intention of getting rid of them, but rather to focus on these sensations with the desire to know, with the desire to understand their nature. So practicing in this way, just noting them, just noticing these uh, painful and aching sensations, just as they are, uh, yogis are able to develop um, special knowledge, able to develop deep insight, so this um, practice is with this intention of really developing this understanding into the nature of these sensations and not with the intention of getting rid of, rid of them. So it's very important for yogis when they're practicing not to practice with the intention of getting rid of these sensa sensations, unpleasant physical sensations, but rather to practice with the intention, with the desire to know. Arilo, Malaylo, Dimiro, Madde, Ache, Tanai, Pito, Avi, Solution, No. Jazenya, Shopu, Ache, Tanai, Tamma, Tavare. Ara, Taina, Tanai, Pili, Shi, Da, Tanai, Pira, O, Alam, Tapi, Vali, Me. Ara, O, Jalai, Dine, Bia, Ine, Alam, Nan, Jalai, Shi, Ne, Jalai, Jalai, Lu, Mapa. Alo ma bilu shi yu diya amyam tawe ne Ali ma ta jane sik Pita ba le Ta jane sik bilu shi Ta jane ta jane lu Dikhan bilu ma ba Alo ta ya ni bilu Ta re ka ma lebe Nyam nyam san san Ma tawe ne Yu gim ya ka pi bi be Ta di amma mu lo ao Ta wu lu a ba le Ta lu shi ne Ta re ta re ta re Ma ba San san yi Di ma da ya da wu Ti di le bi ay ne Ya ni le อันนี้ท้าวจีบีโร่กูนี้ท้าวจีบีโร่ยัดเดียดเดียวเลยมั้งบ้าอะไรเฉยๆมีอะไรเฉยๆมีอะไรเฉยๆมีอะไรเฉ
အဲ့ဒီအနေဗိတော့ဒီမိတို့ဒီခြံရနေဗိတော့ခြံနေနေရနေဗိတော့အပြင်ထွက်ပြီးတော့စင်ညာရှောက်တော့မဆိုခဲ
focusing on that standing posture, one notes standing, standing. Then the intention to turn, intention to turn, and the turning process, turning, turning. And again, uh, when one's turned around, headed back the other way, then again, left step, right step, left step, right step, all the way to the end of the walking path. So in this way, and noting left step and right step, another hour is passed, another hour is used. As, develop, as concentration begins to deepen, as the mindfulness becomes stronger, one can uh, increase the parts in the noting of walking. So separating each step into two parts, one notes lifting, placing, lifting, and placing. With this, um, with this method, the steps should be slightly closer together, not as long, as, not as speedy or as uh, wide steps as with left step, right step. So with this two-part walking, the yogi notes lifting, placing, lifting, placing, bringing the attention to the sensations in the stepping process all the way to the end of the walking path and then as before, noting the standing, intention to turn and turning and standing and the other way, lifting, placing, lifting, placing. As concentrate... Concentration develops even further as mindfulness becomes even stronger. Then the yogi can split the, each step into even three parts, noting lifting, moving, placing, lifting, moving, placing. Again, bringing the attention to notice all the sens- sensations involved in the process. So... <clears throat> At this point, the yogis have been given the basic um, instructions for sitting in brief. And um, the yogis have uh, been given enough of the instructions for walking practice to go forward on their own. So the Uh, New yogis who haven't had experience with this method should have enough to work with for now. And it's important that all of the yogis be able to uh, practice with this method. I don't the มีโดยเสมาอะไรบ่ดันทุจ่าเด้อธิญาณลุสุเด้อวิปัสสนาญาณเสนเสนเสนเตปิรอนอกซုံးในบางกูมีในซั่นชื่อเด้อแม่นญ